Hi everyone, my name's Alison, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I have another project for you. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Alison, je suis une démonstratrice indépendante pour Stampin' Up! et aujourd'hui j'ai un nouveau projet pour vous. So today's project is this little um, Christmas tree decoration. Donc aujourd'hui le projet c'est cette petite uh, décoration pour le sapin de Noël. The finished size is two inches by one inch by three and a half inches, which is five by 2.5 by nine centimeters. Donc le taille fini, c'est cinq par deux virgule cinq par neuf centimètres. And you can, if you just undo the ribbon, et donc si tu ouvres le ribbon, it opens, so ouvrir, comme ça, so you can put some little um, sweets in there. Donc tu peux mettre quelques petits bonbons ou un petit cadeau. And then just, and as I say, that will just hang nicely on the tree. You could also use it as a table decoration because it does stand up. Et tu peux aussi uh, utiliser comme décoration de table. Si tu veux. But, there we go. Nice little decoration. Donc, une très jolie petite décoration. Donc, si vous êtes prêts, on y va. So, if you're ready, then I will show you how to make it. So, you will need a piece of cardstock which measures 8 and 3 quarter inches by 6 inches, which is 22 by 14.5 centimeters. Donc, papier cartonné. 22 cm par 14,5 and on the long side we're going to score at 3 quarters of an inch 3 and 3 eighths 5 and 3 eighths and eight inches eight inches which is two eight point five thirteen point five and twenty centimeters donc sur le côté long tu fais la ligne de traçage à deux huit virgule cinq treize virgule cinq et vingt centimètres and also what you need to, no I'll do that later turn and on the short side I'm going to score at two and a half and three and a half donc tu fais la ligne de traçage sur le côté court à six et huit virgule cinq centimètres then you're going to do a score line at two inches and you're going to go down as far as the second horizontal line and then you're going to do the same at four inches go down to the second horizontal line Donc maintenant tu fais un ligne de marquage à cinq centimètres Mais tu vas jusqu'à la deuxième ligne horizontale. Donc ça c'est à 5 cm. Et la même chose est 9,5 cm. So I didn't give the imperial measurements for that. That was at um, five, the imperial, the metric. It was at five inches, five, oh la 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 la, five centimeters and 9.5 centimeters. I'm going to turn the um, cardstock 180 degrees. Donc tu tournes le papier cartonné. And the same thing at two inches down to the second line and four inches, which is again five and nine point five centimeters. Donc encore, 
tu fais une ligne de trace marquage à 5 cm et 9,5 cm jusqu'à la deuxième uh, ligne horizontale. So you haven't got any um, score lines here or here. Donc il n'y a pas de ligne de traçage ici ou ici. So. Okay, let's do on the middle. I forgot to do this on the middle um, square. You need to make a mark at the middle middle points. That's it. One centimeter. Donc tu fais un petit mark au point milieu pour le carré ici. The same thing on this side. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a line from there to the corner and make a triangle. Donc tu fais un petit triangle ici. So as usual, don't worry about measurements because if you open the description box below, there is a link which goes directly to this project on my blog. And you'll find all the details there. Donc comme d'habitude, t'inquiète pas pour le mesure parce que si tu ouvres le lien dans la description ci-dessus, uh, tu peux trouver toutes les mesures sur mon blog. So you're gonna um, fold and burnish all the complete score lines. Donc tu plie et puis toutes les lignes complètes, like so. Okay, so now what we're going to do <clears throat> the rectangles here and here in the corner we don't need those so we're going to cut those away same the other side oh, that one as well Like so, the same the other end. Donc tu coupes chaque coin le deux petits rectangles. So, it should look like that. So then we're going to cut down of these squares and cut out the triangle donc tu coupes jusque la première ligne horizontale ici et après le petit triangle So, same thing the other side. Donc, c'est toujours la même chose chaque côté. Ah. 
but should be like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut here and here. And you want to cut an angle and prepare to coup an angle. And again, same thing the other side. And then shows lots of cutie. So you should have a piece like so. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of decoration. So this time I'm doing it a bit different. I'm going to put a bit of decoration. So this time, unfortunately this, this set has now retired. Uh, malheureusement, this jeu de tampon is plus disponible, but I like this little design here. And I want to use this tapin. So I'm going to use this image. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, punch and the, the decorative corner here. Here, donc je vais utiliser celle-ci. So you end up with a decorative top. So I'm going to use on this front. I'm going to put a bit of tear and tape. side. You can put it both sides if you don't want to put anything inside um, and have it closed. So, si tu veux, si tu ne mets pas quelque chose dedans, tu peux mettre le, le adhésif le de côté. So you bring the edge up like so, and then this side as well, and then this one will fold in, and then I'm going to make a little hole. I'm just going to put through. very in the middle but never mind so that's that now we need to do the little the base bit so you need a piece of cardstock which measures three and three quarters by two and a quarter 
which is 10, 10 by 6 centimeters. Donc, tu peux se rendre le papier cartonné 10 par 6 cm. So, le côté long, score at 3 quarters of an inch, 1 and a half, 2 and a quarter, and 3. Donc, sur le côté, which is um, 2, 4, 6, 8 cm. Côté long, tu fais la ligne de traçage à 2. 4, 6, 8 cm. Turn. And again at 3 quarters of an inch. And 1 and a half, which is 2 and 4. Uh, sur le côté court, à uh, 2 et 4 cm. Again, fold and varnish. Okay. So I'm going to cut out the corner squares here and to coupe le carré. And then cut up and to coup just the premier line horizontal, torn. On the other side, and then that is going to fold up. Oop. Like so. So. Your little base, and this you Whoop. and put it in the middle. So, just for another little bit of decoration, what I'm going to do is I have the penguin place, the joyous fit. So I'm going to use the best
le puff retrus qui va avec le jus de tampon. J'ai une petite étoile. I've used the star punch. Donc j'ai utilisé le, le perfectrice euh, étoile. Le haut. Star. And that goes on the top. And then finish off. And one more traditional. Donc voilà, de jolis petits sapins de décoration. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, and until next time, thanks a lot for watching and see you again very soon. Donc j'espère que cette petite vidéo vous plaît. Et jusqu'à la prochaine fois, merci et à très bientôt. Au revoir.